Hi everybody, Stacy Wells here, Stacy Wells Artistry. Uh, this afternoon I'm going to do a resin swipe. I've got a whole bunch of embellishments over here. I don't know what I want to use. Um, and I'm, I'm going to kind of hurry because um, I've uh, been screwing around uh, trying to get everything together and um, I feel like I'm running out of time. I'm probably not, but I just feel that way. Uh, what order am I going to do these in? I don't know. Uh, I'm using a different kind of resin. Uh, I mentioned it earlier. This is uh, Extreme X resin. And um, I usually use Promarine. And uh, I couldn't get it. And um, this was the closest thing, I thought. Um, and uh, so I got it. And for those of you who are interested in resin, um, I will say this. Um, it is a lot more fluid than the Promarine. Um, it really moves. Um, but I think that the work time is shorter. I don't think you get as long to work. Um, and I'm not one of those people that smells bother. Um, but I've read that it, that smells bother a lot of people. Um, a lot of things that we use have smells, you know, paint, uh, and paint products tend to smell. Um, and I, uh, I don't know why I, I I just kind of think of that as part of it, but anyway, for those of you who have issues with smell, it does have a weird smell. Um, it doesn't exactly bother me, but it's weird. And um, so if you're sensitive to things like that, you probably wouldn't like this kind of resin. Um, what else? I don't know what else. Um, other than that, I mean, um, oh shoot. Well, when Colton was doing a video with me the other day, he did that, and I got really upset with him. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have. <sighs> Clumsy me. Um, anyway, other than that, I, I can't say for sure um, which one I like better at this point. Um, I'm just not really sure. Oh, man, that's hot. This stuff, boy, it heats up. <sighs> and I have to hurry because my table is slanted. And if I don't hurry, everything will run off the end. And I ran out of, um, what do you call it, uh, wax paper. It's already run off the ends of the table. Um, and so I'm using um, chopped up plastic bags. <laughs> um, that was all I could find. And they don't work as well, obviously. I'm having some trouble. Okay. I feel like I'm rushing when I'm working with resin just because I usually am. <laughs> it's been one of those days, y'all. Oh, um, one of those days. I 
I'll probably set off the fire alarm in a minute. Ooh, that's pretty though. I like that. And as usual, I have my embellishments. Uh, several different ones. Um, I had not decided which one I wanted to use yet. I was going to wait and see kind of what the piece did. Oh, that's pretty. Anyway, um, I've tinted this resin with um, Master's Choice paints and pigments, or Arteza pigments. Um, because I like the vibrancy of the color that you get with paint and the definition, you know, between the colors that you get with paint. Um, and I like the shimmer and everything that you get with pigments. Um, so I tend to mix them. Um. I find that that works best. Um, uh, pigments alone, just to me, are not um, clearly defined enough, the color, and they're not really uh, vibrant enough. They tend to kind of blur together. Um, I don't know, maybe it's the pigments I've used, but I've used, uh, I've got some color art pigments. I've got, um, you know, all the Arteza pigments. Um, I've used a whole bunch of different, you know, mica powders and um, you know different kinds of pigments um, it's just been my experience I mean I just like it better that way that's just my preference I guess I should say uh, I'm trying to get this where y'all can see it I don't know if you can or not but I'm gonna get it where you can in just a minute I'm just trying to let this run back down um, my white just always disappears and it really pisses me off. I can see the lacing in this, but I just, I don't see very much white anymore. It just always disappears. Did it go off? Yeah, it went off the end of the table. Um, I've got to get this table fixed. I just don't know how to fix it. It's like 10 feet long and we built it in this room um, and now I've realized that it's slanted it was just for doing glass on so it didn't really matter that it was slanted a little bit but now that I paint um, it's causing some issues I don't know how I'm gonna fix it and it's one of those things that I don't think about unless I'm in here painting and something's running off the end of the table and then I'm like oh gosh I need to fix that uh, oh boy that white ran off the table and I was gonna maybe drag a little bit of it up here but it is already pretty much cured I mean it's You can see some white, um, just not as much as I wanted. Um, I can always go back and um, put a coat of white, um, you know, do a, mix some more resin and put some white on it. I may do that. I don't know. It, it's beautiful um, in the way it is. Um, I probably should just leave it alone. I've gotten in this bad habit of messing with things um, when I'm working. Instead of just, you know, letting them do their thing. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. Um... Just not wanting to um, leave it alone. And um, 
that will get you in trouble really fast. Oh, everything is just so sticky. I really made a mess this time. I'll make a mess every time, um, but I've really outdone myself this time, I think. <sighs> oh, you can see the white up there at the top. Um, Except I won't add the embellishment to it. Uh, which one? Um, I see. I think I'm gonna use that one. But I gotta get this little tag off. about that. I, I keep forgetting to cut these little stupid tags off um, before I use them. Anyway, I gave that a second to sit and kind of do what it's going to do. Let me get y'all down and let y'all take a look. And I'll show you the piece I did this morning. It's pretty much um, hardened now. Uh, there it is. That's one of the ones I did this morning. And let me let you see this up close. Okay, there's the whole thing. So you can see the white up there at the top. I just... I didn't see it until it came back down. And there's some white in that too. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've just been overly picky and I don't know. I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think. I'd love to hear some comments, likes, subscribes, things like that. I think that turned out pretty. Um, there's some cells in it. Anyway, um, I'll leave a description about what I did to the pigments, how I tinted the resin. Um, but uh, I'm going to close for now. Thanks for being with me this afternoon. I appreciate it uh, very much. Y'all have a really good um, afternoon, and I'll see you next time. I post videos every day. All right, tune in next time.